Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very vibrant tropical fruits infused sparkling water, the name of which, well, it shares its name with, among other things, a state in Brazil and I believe a 2011 animated film starring Anne Hathaway. Either way, nonsense aside, welcome back to Prison Architect. And previously, we were, I guess, messing around with the airlock here. And it is actually wired correctly. It's just getting a bit confused because of the door actuation speed. And also, I think, because we've also got wired up to the uh, door control system. Either way, it it is in and it was good messing around with it somewhat a bit different and um yeah got some more prisoners made it more secure by adding in all of these cliff edges all of the water here and this is about as secure as this thing is gonna get aside from putting in the perimeter wall around here and putting in more of these sniper towers which is at the moment not necessary so we will um sort of skip past that for now because we want to focus on a couple of things and yes it does actually include uh death row so i'm going to pick up death row and also because of that we need another staff member in the form of the lawyer here and i will get on to putting some carpet in these areas but that's not going to make us money which is really our sort of secondary focus of, you know with the uh, say secondary because the primary is to you know make sure inmates stay in um and yeah we do want to look at death row but also as someone has rightly pointed out a couple of people actually if we go over to our programs and scroll down a little bit parole hearing 31 in the queue a lot of the inmates uh, most notably the high risk inmates not so much the supermax are up for parole but we don't have any provision for that it was never planned it was it was a it was um uh, a defin definitely it was a not an oversight there was just no um no plan to have parole in the design but on reflection we could have probably managed to fit it in and around here and it wouldn't really alter the security too much but i want to move these top cells over to the supermax so what i'm going to do is something quite cringeworthy for something that is supposed to be a quite uh, secure design. I'm going to go over to quick build and I'm going to put in uh, one and two temporary permanent <laughs> um, parole rooms and that will mean that we can get through these inmates here and well like I say cycle through them get a bit of money and then go from there. Now I do say temporary permanent I don't plan having them uh, any longer than I absolutely need to once we've went through that backlog we will then delete this at least that is the plan but it's called temporary permanent for a reason because often well it just sort of sticks in the design what actually um, is a curious note of the design if we go over to deployment all of this area has been set to shared since I put in this airlock, but we've not had any uh, real problems with that. Oh, what we have had problems with, though, is the guard towers in that they are able to get to the guard towers apart from the, the bottom here because they were, well, they're not in the right orientation. So I'm going to basically put them all correct now. The top ones are set correctly and... Uh, that one is now set correctly too. We don't need to do anything other than the bottom ones. It just it just makes sense. If we're going to move them around, let's just get them done. So there we are. Anyway, uh, this is one of them's done by the look of it, uh, or at least it's uh, they're working on it now. And what, once we've done that, let's go over to uh, where is it? Parole hearing start, and I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe you can have four in the schedule currently. If we go over to uh, regime, it should be work free time. No, it actually can be done in free time. I believe uh, the parole hearing. It says parole lawyer session in four hours. Hmm. So reschedule, and there we go. I'm guessing one more won't work. No, that's uh, good to know that I remembered all that correctly. Quite rare, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm going to set that like that, and this is probably set to yeah, staff only, uh, all of this area, apart from these two rooms. Now, will they be escorted? I'm hoping so. What I'll do is I'll just assign a guard to each one of those, and we will see how we get on when it comes to the parole tomorrow. So, uh, death row, we are researching that now. We are very close to being able to get the execution liability, which I will pick up. But where are we going to put death row? Well, it's going to go in this forestry area, but death row doesn't need to be a large, a large thing. It can be quite small, actually, in terms of its footprint. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm probably only going to use maybe a third of this left side here. 
So let's roughly plan it off. So I'm going to have a pathway coming down and to roughly the middle because the idea is that I want something similar to this. So I want, uh, this will all be perimeter wall. This will all be perimeter wall, so that is fine. Um, I then want, um, what do I want? Do I want water? Oh, so a couple of things we probably need to cover actually with uh, death row. And death row inmates, in spite of their situation, hold on, parole is working. Okay, this is good. So I don't need to change anything to an open area. Okay, let's see how we get on with that. Anyway, um, I digress back to Death Row. So Death Row, in spite of their situation, they're actually quite well behaved, the inmates in Death Row. And if they do kick off, it is just a bit of destruction. Um, very rarely will you see an escape attempt. So I'm not really worried about that. So even a bare minimum security is fine. And... In, in spite of that, we will be putting in perimeter walls and uh, things like the... Uh, I don't think we'll do cliff edges, but we'll certainly do uh, water and um, these these uh, perimeter walls. But also, the reason why we've got the security like this and it's such high, like a high security area is because in the escape mode, you can do a lot of extra, air quote, quotes, tricks. Um, but if you're assigned a death ruin mate, you... Uh, it, which you can, it can happen, but it is rare. But if you are assigned a death row inmate, basically you get brought in a death row, and that's all you can do. You can just wander around. Uh, you can't even escape, so I'm not worried about the escape mode. Anyway, with that said and done, let's see about putting in this, uh, yeah, this this thing. So walls, uh, this is going to be wall. Um, this is all going to be perimeter wall. So I'm going to perimeter wall down to the bottom there. Perimeter wall across, and then we want in water, water, and then another perimeter wall, like so. Um, and then that perimeter wall will go to... Hmm, how are we going to do this? So it's going to be perimeter wall, water, perimeter wall. And then that will be the staff only area. Um, so I'll go for another wall. So this will be staff only where we can have the patrols. So already we've uh, utilised... Well, we've got this uh, shrunk down quite a bit, but that's all right. And then these are going to be the cells. The cell's going to be a, a total of five by five. So I don't know how many I want, um, but the fact that that fits in like that is sort of encouraging. I mean, I can go for six, and that's even that is overdoing it, but nothing excels like excess. And then from this point, uh, we're going to have a security room, I think. So this is going to be full security, and that's also going to be the way in. And then down at the bottom here, we'll have maybe that split up to have maybe execution liability. And then the, uh, is that, uh, what's the minimum size of 5x5, five five, I believe, for parole, which is correct. And then you've got your um, execution over there as well, which uh, minimum size of nothing. That should suffice for the for the design, so which means it's going to go like that, and like that. And that means we've used, oh, we've actually used more than I expected, we've used about half. Um, we do obviously need some snipers, but we can just dot them around. I'm not really concerned, let's say, about the uh, the whole security thing here. Um, pathway is going to come down there, I'm going to come in here, uh, this will be water, this, I'm, I'm not going to put in the bridges like that. I, I can't be getting on with those. <laughs> um, we'll have uh, doors in here and here and here and there and there and something like that. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. Okay, now, apparently there is a tunnel there. I, I do not believe... Whoa! <laughs> Other noises of surprise are available. 48,000 generic units of currency. And refending's gone up by 4%. Huh. Let's pick up execution liability and check out grading. Paroled early 6 and 0 of reoffended. Reoffending rate has dropped to 14%. Punishment's down and security is down. That's gone to 18% now. Oh, and reoffended. They've reoffended. Boo. Um, right, anyway. How are we getting on with uh, going through the prisoners for... Oh, for parole. It must be quite good because we've got 36 maximum capacity for maximum and we're down to 28 so that needs to drop by several more inmates but then we can basically change one of these to supermax people have mentioned about changing all of these inmates anyway to supermax and going from there we can do that 
of course we can. Um, do we need to? I mean, it's a lot of work for what basically is what the parole room is doing right now. So yeah, we'll stick with it. Anyway, um, this area, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to rooms and I'm just going to remove the uh, forestry like so. I just need to just need to get it removed for now. I'll probably do I do I go to cut trees? Um, or can I just dismantle? I can just dismantle the trees. Although only some because there's a, there's a certain limit. Well, we'll do that. We'll get these removed. Probably have to uh, get rid of the stumps as well. I didn't actually plan on building this in this episode, but... Well, there's no reason why we can't. I don't think. Hmm. So, let's see how we get on. This is just sort of managing itself. We've got now tunnel search underway. We set up a couple of auto magic tunnel searches and shakedowns. Tunnel searches every three days and shakedowns every five, I believe, if memory serves. So, yeah. Back over to our programs. We can see that we've got 12 in the queue, 16 finished at a 10 past. It's a 62% pass rate for parole, but we've dropped down to 12. So that's uh, pretty good. Obviously, searching this tunnel... Uh, I wouldn't expect to find anything. I don't know. I was going to say, I don't think in the entire series we've ever found any tunnel. There's not even been a tunnel made. There's um Richard Hughes, who has been smashing stuff up. And there's two doggos, Comet and Bonaparte. Yep, uh, that guy is definitely unconscious. They don't like birds, they don't like statues, they can't stand bookshelves, and they're not a fan of TVs or sleeping either. And they're probably a bit stinky. Basically, they've smashed everything up. Excellent. Right. I can speed this out. And let's say, uh, keep an eye on the maximum security. Uh, we need to get it to 24. So, hopefully, with these extra in the queue, we'll uh, we'll manage that. There's going to be a lot of these tree stumps around now. Um, I need to dismantle these ones ex uh, around here as well. Because they are near the wall. And... That can cause problems. Can cause all manner of problems, actually. Tunnel there. I disbelieve that one, too. Um, so, lots of tree stumps. Can we dump... Yeah, we can dump. So, I'm going to dump object. Um, I'm going to have to dump some of the saplings as well. So, this is going to... This is going to be a noticeable drop. <laughs> sort of... There's a massive height of irony here. We were doing this to increase the money that we get. But in doing so, it's going to make me... Well, I'm going to have even less money than when I started. <laughs> yep, that's, um, that's a thing. But it is something we did talk about at the start of the series, so we might as well, might as well get on top of it. And I can go in like so. That's the perimeter wall. That's probably one of the most expensive parts, if not the most expensive. And it's going to have a staff door there. This is going to be just an outside bit. This is all going to be outside. This is going to be set up as normal. Okay, good. Uh, why haven't those tree stumps been removed? Dump object. No, they have been. Not that it matters. As soon as we put in the foundations, it'll crack on with it. So I'm going to put in this perimeter wall. Then I'll put in the other... Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on a second. Um, I was going to put in the perimeter wall and then the water. What I'll do is I'll put in the perimeter wall. Yes, then I'll put in the water. Then I'll put these corner pieces in. Then I'll put the other perimeter wall in and then it'll be okay. I say without any degree of confidence. <laughs> Because you never know what curveball the game is going to fling at you. Um, we're down to 26 maximum security. We could probably, probably change one of these over now. I am going to do that. Over to intelligence and informants. And I'm going to find a couple of inmates like Ian Wilders. And I'm going to put them to uh, Supermax. Because they've got a lot of traits. Extremely tough. Extremely tough. Is there a is there a volatile? Hmm. Strong, extremely tough. If there's a volatile, there's a tough and volatile. 
yeah, and change those to Supermax. Then I'm going to change, let's see. I should have taken this down to 24 inmates, which it has. Deployment, all this as Supermax. And there's always these little sections you have to get. Right, that is set correctly. So now, a lot of these inmates are going to be moved over and then we're going to get 10 Supermax as well. Okay, good. That's now working, we hope. <laughs> yeah, daily cash flow will have dropped a, a noticeable amount because of the removal of the forestry area. Also, now that I think of it, if this was further back, it would have been easier access to the forestry area. Does it matter? Uh, I don't think it does really. Not in any like big amount. I'm just gonna put these doors in, so you know these guys actually have access to the forestry. Because once they've bricked this bit up, they won't be able to get there, and that could prove challenging <laughs> for people who can't do a taser teleport or phase through walls. Flooring and landscapes, water, like this. Mm. There's bricks there and I'm just concerned that if they don't shift them. There we go. I was going to say the, the end of each being bricks just dumped in this canal. Mm. Like that. And now perimeter wall. Do these corners. And there's all the water in. Might as well place some flooring while we're on. So it's gonna come down to there. Down here as well. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that side of it. Um I'll have to change that bit actually. I'll have to I'm gonna have to bring it round at some point. But yeah, put these bits in and Oh yeah, it's the flooring all flooring all the time channel once again. Always a good moment when we got line tiles going in. It uh, improves it immensely, aesthetically. Actually, not just that aesthetically, it also has a mechanical effect. And that's the excuse I'm sticking to. Uh, <laughs> so we'll put in the corner pieces here. And... Something like that for now. Yeah, alright. So that's going in. I'll wait until I put the flooring in before I put the rest in. I haven't yet determined exactly the interior of this. How we're doing for parole? There's still two in the queue. I'm just going to run it for another day or so and see how we get on. Whoa, 73,000 generic units of currency. And there's loads of our new inmates. Technically, they could have been brought to here. So yeah, we're now down to maximum security of uh, 23. So moving over, and daily cash flow obviously will um, improve. I'm going to go to, once again, walls, perimeter walls. And run that and that. Actually, we can do the lot. But I won't do that bit yet, because that's missing still. And also, there's a couple of bits of flooring that I haven't done. Which I will now fix. There we go. Just like that. 20 odd grand spent. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dangerous when you sit like that. Change out all the stuff, won't I? And I think the guys have pretty much sorted it. Yeah. Um, my concern is if the workers jump on this side. Which can happen. 
Well, if someone does that, they're getting sacked. Actually, I should also probably look at uh, staff programs and uh, stop the training there. First aid training, we can probably run a bit more. Always, always worth it running the first aid training where possible. Uh, walls and doors, perimeter, perimeter, wall doors there, glass walls, actually that's going to be foundations, more glass wall, and then it's that, with, I mean I could use staff doors, but from this point forward, I think we will use something a bit more secure, in fact this should have been a bit more secure, we're going to cancel that for now. Doors is going to be solitary. Mm. Like that. I think that's correct in its orientation. Forestry is still working, which is good. Parole. They are teaching parole, but nothing's happening. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It has been run. It has been run. Let's have a quick check. That person came in and immediately was uh, handcuffed. Parole hearing. Oh, they're not. They're still. They're still doing it. Apparently, they're just not in the room. <laughs> William Slacker Costello, prison number one zero two four eight zero one six, and they failed parole hearing. Fair enough. Oh. Deaths. Snitch. Dylan Looney. Killed by Tom Gall. Well. That's, uh... Unfortunate. We didn't have any provision for... Any sort of protective custody. So there's nothing we could have done even if I did know about the snitch. Hmm. It's uh, how it is. Uh, oh, those are going to require some door servos, aren't they? Wiring door servos. Um, one, two, three, four. These ones I won't bother with. These ones I probably will. Uh, water and wiring. Electrical. I will have to bring this down and across. Okay, I'm just going to pause it for a moment while I try and fish out that solitary door. And lock these open. Ironically, they're coming to fit a door that they then can't get back out of. <laughs> I only need to have one actually uh, locked open, don't I, now to think of it. I'll lock open that one. And that one. And they're installing that one. Okay. Fine. We're down to 22 maximum security inmates. Obviously the parole thing will... Yeah, it's slowly dropping off now to pretty much no one. We'll run it for one more day. It says 40 finished, 14 passed, 35% uh, pass rate. But that should be that pretty much it. Parole does supply contraband. There you go. We found a fountain pen there. Shows the dangers of fountain pen. So nothing they can escape with. So I'm not really concerned with that one. Um, how are we getting on over here? Actually pretty well. It's all now opened up. Okay, so we have <laughs> these guys trying to work over there. I'm going to hire some more, some more guards because we've got more patrols going on and probably a couple more dog handlers as well. And, well, electrical... We'll bring in electrical. We'll do that. We'll run this up. And down into this room for... Yep, yeah, you probably guessed what. <laughs> they want to go through that door, do they? Do they? Of course they do. I think door servos on here is fine. Door servos into this one, you probably should put on. Door servo there and a door servo there. These side ones round this way. To be honest, do I even need them? Not really. I haven't got them on this one. So why would I have it on this one? Dismantle them. Uh, I'm hoping I've got the right door selected. Dismantle and dismantle. I think that's correct. 
Yeah, that seems fine. And then, well, actually, now that they're all connected, I could wire them up. So what am I going to wire them up to? Well, technically, it's the bottom one. So dark control system. That's adding in another six door servos on this one that's already got another... Well, it's got nine, so it's almost doubled up on it. But this is not going to be a heavily trafficked area. So I'm not too concerned about, like, an overload or anything like that. Okay. So let's uh, bring this water pipe in and along to about there, I think. And the small pipe will run up to there and there. Right, well, that has been a bit of Prison Architect. We are going to leave it there for now. We've actually got further than I thought. We've got Execution Liability, Death Row, obviously illegal stuff. We then planned and indeed built this entire area, uh, which should be staff only. And that's now Death Row. Next episode, we're building Death Row. We'll just crack on with that. Um, any spare money that we have, which is unlikely... There's Simon Hawkins, who's got a uh, set of unknown traits, actually. Probably volatile, since they've been fighting. Why would it, why would it be anything else but? But yeah, um, cash flow has dropped now that we've uh, obviously removed the half of the... Well, we've, over, we've cut the forestry in half. More than half, actually. But we've got more Supermax inmates. And we're working towards getting more. I think we'll build this, see what happens when it comes to the parole stuff. We probably can stop it. Run. Yeah, we can stop all that now, at least the most of it. Um, someone someone is technically assigned to this one, Pierce here. But let's see. What's the likelihood of them passing this? Uh, unknown traits. Um, grading. 2% estimated reoffending chance. 2%? Well, they should leave then. They look very concerned. This, yeah, they've, they've passed parole hearing. Okay, Pierce. Uh, reform. Actually? Look at that. Loads of positives and then a couple of failed ones. Net is a thousand. <laughs> so the parole stuff has not really made us any noticeable money. Off the back of just, you know, all of these bonuses for having been reformed. Working in a construction company, shopping mall restaurant, shopping mall restaurant factory, etc. But the the cycling through of the inmates obviously is giving us yeah lots of money in that regard. Okay, we are like I said, leaving it there for now. Let's get rid of that um, and change these to staff only. And I will remove those. There we go. So. We will in the next episode crack on with building the uh, with the death row. Probably get done in one hit, to be honest. And yeah, as always, hope you have enjoyed it. And comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.